Uh, do you welcome Natalie Elphick into her birth in the Labour Party? Thanks for having me, Tom. Uh, I'm all for changing their views uh, when they realise that they've got things wrong. But the problem here for me is that uh, Miss Elphick hasn't changed her views. Her statement today says that she doesn't think Sunak has gone far enough. So to me, it's Labour who has changed to a position where her anti-immigrant supporters of Thatcherite economics feel at home in the Labour Party. And I'm, I'm, I'm afraid this isn't just any old centrist Tory. Yesterday, we had a close ally of Keir Starmer and an old friend of Jeffrey Epstein, Peter Mandelson, who called the Greens a dustbin for Labour members who are unhappy with the direction of the Labour Party. Now, it seems from Starmer's decision today, he wants Labour to be a dustbin for far-right Tory politicians who have inflicted colossal damage on our country. As I said, she isn't an any old centrist Tory. She's a far-right ERG member, an equality and human rights banning, well, migrant bashing, Rwanda deportation, fetishist, anti-abortion, trade union hating, and as you said before, sex offender husbands, victims tormenting hard right Tory. Well, Mish, we, we, we don't in this country have necessarily have guilt by association. You mentioned Peter Mandelson there. What Peter Mandelson was, was part of of the most electorally successful Labour Party um, since uh, the Second World War, really. Um, isn't that what Labour has changed to, being electorally successful? Well, if, if I mean, if that's the case, there's absolutely nothing to be gained whatsoever from disappointment over to then to show the world uh, a lack of integrity that Starmer and his leadership is showing. I would rather beat every Tory... Uh, what And the whole country wants to get rid of Tories, uh, but instead Starmer wants them in his parliamentary party. Nobody, who can explain that? You just couldn't make it up. It's not in the public interest to sweep up Tories that are rejected up and down the country into your parliamentary party. Well, what about other Tories who have defected to Labour? Would you put them in the same, would you put them in the same bracket as Natalie Elphick, or is she different? Last, there was another one last yes. week who, who, I've never, who I've never heard of. I don't know who they are. I mean, all, all I've heard of is that we we're at NHS stop. I'm shocked. We've been through COVID. We've been through PPE crisis. We've been through the NHS being uh, flummoxed under the last 14 years by the Tories and lack of investment. And now, weeks or months before the election, this NHS stop ship. It just, it just stinks to me. So the, the you, Labour should not have accepted these Tories, in your view? I don't see what Labour benefit from accepting these Tories. I don't see what endorsements that they're going to provide to Labour. As uh, your colleague there said, Labour are miles ahead in terms of points. We're not just defeating the Tories. We're defeating everything that they've done wrong. Well, I'll put, it, I'll put it to you, Mr Rahman, that as much as you are uh, clearly very exorcised by this uh, and angered by it, you're not going to vote for anyone else. You're going to vote for Labour. Everyone else who's very upset and angered by this is still going to vote for Labour at the next general election, aren't they? So, No, but we can't say that, Tom, because we are voting for Labour to get rid of the Tories because of the damage the Tories have done over the you're last... You're telling me as a member of Labour's par Labour Party's National Executive no, no, I Committee... Haven't said, I haven't said that. I said people are going to vote for Labour because they want to get rid of Tories up and down across the country for making our lives miserable over the last 14 years... But if Keir Starmer keeps on recruiting these Tories into the parliamentary party, especially when we're uh, promoting a platform of dynamic change, where we're saying the country's change, we're going to provide that change. We aren't providing or we won't be sending the right message to voters that we're going to provide the change when we've got Tories who have made our life miserable for the last 14 years. But you're still going to vote for them, them, Mr Rahman. Or are you telling me that you're wobbling? Well, I, I'm 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 the only person in my Labour household who still votes Labour, and the reason why the rest of my family have left not stop, have stopped voting Labour, some over Gaza, some over the fact that today uh, and the former direction. I mean, today what what Labour said over the last few weeks, uh, especially the loss of support from ethnic minority communities, from black and brown communities. Said that they listened and they're going to and they're going to uh, respond. And today, by appointing an anti-migrant uh, MP, uh, it's just showing that what is Labour's policy? You said before that she wants to stop the boats. Now, the way I stop the boats is by 
providing safe passages for those that are in need. Now, I'm not sure she's in favour of providing safe passages, is she? No, she just wants not. to stop the boats. So how is she going to stop the boats? And what is Labour offering in terms of stopping the votes uh, that's actually appealed to her to join our party? Would... That's scary. And, that's, and a lot of voters will be... Uh, asking questions about this, and not just voters, a lot of Labour members like myself well, will be asking why or why is she joining us, especially when this is what she wants. Would it um, would it equal out somewhat if Keir Starmer brought Diane Abbott back into the Labour Party? I think this is completely separate to the appointment of Natalie Elphick. However, you do raise the point that the Labour Party of today. Uh, is welcome people like Natalie Elphick, who are hard right Tories from a far right fringe, are welcome in the Labour Party. But Diane Abbott currently isn't. I mean, Natalie Elphick is, I would say, more right wing than Suella Braverman because I've seen her gone on television with Trevor Phillips criticising Suella Braverman for not being tough enough on the boats. And Suella Braverman is a literal deportation fetishist who dreams of deporting people and even she's not right wing enough uh, for Natalie Elphick so it is it is in my opinion completely disgraceful that she is welcomed open armed and somebody like Diane Abbott is still not allowed into the parliamentary party Very good to speak to you, good luck trying to persuade your family over. Mish Rahman, member of the Labour Party's National Executive Committee we wondered whether it might have backfired it According to Mr Rahman, it seems to have backfired among some in Labour. If you are really put out by this, if you are annoyed by it, worried that Labour would accept someone like Natalie Elphick into their party but not someone, or reinstate someone like Diane Abbott, be honest. You'll vote Labour anyway. You don't matter. Your, your vote's sewn up. Where else are you going to go? You're going to vote Green? You're going to vote Lib Dem? What are you going to, you're not going to turn your vote away from Labour. You're going to vote Labour. This plays into Keir Starmer's... Uh, suggestion that the Labour Party has changed. It has changed if it can welcome imputable like Natalie Elphick. Message sent.